how to pair the device and get started. All right, I'll go into the settings and disconnect. Okay, so if you look at when you first open up the app, there'll be a note about the cloud service, which is very uh, valuable. And then it's always good to have a spare battery, and it specifies in the app which uh, part you would need for that specific battery. The new hardware actually will take the other battery, like, or, or I mean, not the other battery, but um, a AA 1.5 volt battery. It won't last as long as that uh, 5903 3.6 volt battery, but uh, it's always good to have a spare battery and keep that in mind just in case you um, get through halfway through the harvest and, and have an issue. So if you have hardware that was before 2017 most likely you're going to have the previous hardware and so you're going to be using the purple battery which is a Tatarin TL5903 I'll get out of this, get out of this. okay so we'll go through and set up the pairing so I'll go to settings, and you're not going through the settings of the actual iPad or, or tablet for that matter, Android tablet. The tablet will show up with uh, the device. The iOS will not have the device displayed. So you want to just make sure that you're uh, pairing through the app, the settings, the gear wheel symbol, tab down at the bottom to the right of the device. And when I initially pair, I need to be five feet away from the box. After that, you can be 50 feet away and be okay. And then remote mode works up to, or more than, 400 feet. So the first initial pairing is within five feet because it's a wireless system, so the box doesn't need to be in the tractor cab. That would kind of go against the whole purpose. So the cable can be coiled up and then mounted behind one of the front two baffles. Then to pair, if you look in the upper left hand corner, you just push the plus button and it takes about 10 seconds if it's going to pair. Pairing result should say successful if everything goes okay. And then you can name this, typically most people name it the name of the grain cart. So I'm just going to go grain, oops grain cart. Display rounding, that's how you want your increments to weigh. If you have a bigger cart, you're probably wanting to go to a higher increment size. That way you can be a little bit more precise. The minimum unload detection, that should be at a thousand. That will be um, key there. And then have the smoothing turned on. The smoothing will take out uh, any bumps or, or any spikes in weight as you go through the field. If you hit a bump, it could trigger the automatic unload detection if smoothing is turned off. So if it's enabled, that filters out any false loads and then you should be good to go. The moisture and the gate are a couple add-on items. Um, we can go over that um, in, a, in a later video. To specify those features because they deserve their own uh, attention. So I will go done from here and then if you look you can change the units. You can go to bushels or kilograms and then you can change your temperature as well. There is a remote mode. You would not turn the remote mode on if it is the uh, main iPad doing all of the collecting of data. Closing the season out I would not close the season out until I'm absolutely sure that I want to close everything. 
and then make sure that coordinates with your carry forward through fields which I've mentioned in another video talking about uh, setting up your uh, destinations. Select season allows you to go through and select previous seasons so if you want to bring the data back up to view you can. It archives everything within the iPad and then the cloud will also coordinate with this as well. So when you're paired press the display button and then you can see that you have a weight displayed. So if I have my simulator here I can see that everything's working fine. So the general rule here is if you go to your settings when you're done using it for the day just hit disconnect and then when you come back it'll either reinitialize and pair or actually not pair but connect um, when you're ready to use it again in the morning or if you go away for lunch um, it'll reconnect otherwise if not you can tap on this row and make sure that uh, when you tap on the screen you can look and make sure that there's weight there and if you look in the upper right hand corner the Bluetooth signal is solid black so now you know that you're connected but if you have any troubles with this let's say if it won't connect anymore what I'll do is I'll go disconnect and then go through this motion I'll swipe left hit delete make sure I'm within five feet of the box or so hit the plus button and then just reestablish that paired connection. So if you have any trouble, you can just do this, and that's a good way to, to work around that. And then it's successful, and then you can name it whatever. Always have your smoothing turned on. Go to the main display. And then from there, you're good to go. So that's how to pair, and then that's also how to go back through and troubleshoot.